So this is something that has been long anticipated, which is the final release of the GPT store. Now, actually, the GPT store was supposed to be released last year in November, but there were some uh, big issues in terms of the CEO, Sam Altman, and him being fired as CEO from OpenAI. And that sort of created a whole scandal. So the store was actually not released during that time. But now we're in 2024, it's a new year, and I guess people have forgotten about that. So we're in a position now where the store is launched and this has been the focal point of everyone looking at AI right now. Essentially, this represents a new stage for people in AI where you'll be able to actually create custom versions of ChatGPT um, and you can sell that and, and make money based off of it. So similar to something like what we saw with the App Store from Apple, this uh, is an is online store uh, for independent uh, companies and, and developers to create uh, AI for people to use. And so let's just take a look at this blog post that uh, OpenAI released talking about the introduction of the GPT store. So here they mentioned that it's been two months since they announced um, GPTs. And users have already created over 3 million custom versions of ChatGPT. Uh, many builders have shared their GPTs for others to use and now they're going to start to roll out the GPT store to ChatGPT Plus team and enterprise users, which is actually also something to note is that you can only access the store if you have a ChatGPT Plus team uh, and enterprise subscription. So it's actually just not available to everyone. But if you're able to get a subscription access, then you'll be able to access the store and use different and popular GPTs. So here's the link to the store. Um, we'll just take a look at that. But before we do, let's just see what else they mentioned. So they're talking about what's trending in the store. So something similar to like the App Store from Apple, where we have a list of the most popular apps. It's similar in the sense that the GPT store shows you what's actually trending and, and what's relevant and what people are interested in. So actually, if we just take a look at the store, we'll be able to see exactly that, how the page is laid out. We have the different sections, DALI, writing, productivity, research and analysis, programming, education, lifestyle. And then here we have the featured section. So this is the curated top picks for the week. And uh, just as they mentioned, you'll be able to discover the things that are trending and be able to make choices of what you would like to try based on that. Another thing is that there are new featured GPTs every week. So obviously, this is going to be a store where people will be constantly putting up their GPTs and so they will be new featured GPTs every week in a way they can highlight and promote some of the GPTs that are going to be featured uh, every week. So here they mentioned the personalized trail recommendation from all trails. This is probably just a list of some of the featured GPTs that they've already started. Search and synthesize results from 200 million academic papers with consensus. So this is a GPT that's particularly focused on the academic papers. Expand your coding skills with Khan Academy's CoTutor. Design presentations or source propose with Canva. Now, for everyone who knows, uh, Canva is already an online graphic design tool that is used by millions of people every single day. So essentially, they're just going to make it easier uh, with Canva on at the GPT store. And in fact, Canva already has a lot of AI uh, uses that they've already started to implement. So it makes sense that they would really get into this. Find your next reads with books and learn maths and science anytime, anywhere with CK12 Flex C AI Tutor. So these are the featured GPTs, I believe, from this week. If we take a look here, we'll be able to see. Uh, yeah, they're right here. Also, here are the ones that are trending. So consensus is quite popular. Um, I think that's quite obvious because uh, the early adopters are the ones who really want to use this for mostly research, I think. And so that's why a lot of people would be drawn to try consensus. Let's just uh, take a further look at what else. So included in the your GPT store um, is that you can build your own GPT. Um, and this is actually something that anyone uh, will actually be able to do. So 
anyone can actually build their own GPT and it's simple and doesn't require any coding skills. Um, so essentially once you've built out your own GPT, um, then you can just follow the steps to share it in the store. So you'll need to save your GPT for everyone um, and then verify your builder profile. Uh, obviously there's guidelines and, and policies that attain to what your GPT needs to keep in mind. I think uh, OpenAI has spoken a lot about this in the sense that there are some policies that, you know, you can't just create any sort of uh, GPT. It has to follow certain guidelines and laws and it has to be within certain uh, realms of doing, you know, responsible and ethical things. But uh, the cool thing about this is really anyone can just uh, put it on the store if, if, it, gets, uh, if it gets accepted. So... Uh, builders can earn based on GPT usage, which again, this is a huge thing because essentially this will allow um, people outside of OpenAI to earn an income uh, based on how well their GPT performs. So uh, they're saying that they will, in quarter one, they will launch a GPT builder revenue program. So this is still something that's not up yet, but they will have a program that will pay users um, based on their GPT. So as they say, um, U.S. builders will be paid based on user engagement with their GPTs. Um, obviously, they're saying here they'll provide details on the criteria for payments as we are quick get closer because we're not there yet. And I think that is going to be quite a process to figure out exactly how they'll be able to manage the payments. But this is something, uh, probably the biggest thing about the GPT store is the idea that you will be able to earn and monetize based on the success of your GPT. And so finally here, they just say team and enterprise customers can manage GPTs. So today we have announced our new chat GPT team plan for teams of all sizes. Team customers have access to a private section of the GPT store, which includes GPTs securely published to your workspace. The GPT store will be available soon for chat GPT enterprise customers and will include enhanced admin controls like choosing how internal only GPTs are shared and which external GPTs may be used instead of this inside your business. Like all usage on chat GPT team and enterprise, we do not use conversation for GPTs to improve our models. Um, so they're just basically breaking down here how team um, and enterprise customers can manage their GPTs. So here you'll be able to uh, plan for teams of, of different sizes and have access to this private section of the GPT stores, which is GPT specifically that's uh, published to your workspace. Um, and so let's just take a look at the Explore GPTs page. So again, here you will just see this is the page that you go on as soon as you take a look at the GPT store. Here they have the featured uh, GPTs, which I just explained uh, earlier on. And then here it's like a different section of the different GPTs that are the most popular um, based on these different uh, sections. So again, this is something that you would see just like um, in the App Store from Apple, uh, except this is related to AI. So this is sort of like a really new step in the sense of what we can expect for the future of AI and uh, different people playing a role in AI. I think what Chat, what OpenAI is doing is essentially they're making themselves the main go-to for everything uh, GPT related and that you won't necessarily be going to a different company or a different website for a GPT because now you can just go onto OpenAI, OpenAI store and you know get Canva immediately so this is sort of like what they're trying to do and this is basically a huge new step um, and it should be interesting to see how things how things pan out so what are your guys thoughts on this how do you think that this is going to turn out um, do you think that it was right that way that they released it or maybe they should have done this last year or maybe they should have already had the payment plan figured out but we can definitely see how things will evolve um, I'd love to just read that as well we can all just communicate and discuss and share our thoughts on that um, again thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up it really helps to support the channel and make sure to subscribe for more AI content I'll be making sure to release uh, more AI content as much as I can and so much and I'll see you guys in the next video